in this brief video, we just want to talk about uh, what's going on in the Middle East. Um, we have this stupid, crazy dictator, a commie dictator called Assad. Number two. Now, Assad number two has given, well, actually, his father did that, naval bases to the Russian commie. Uh, butchers of the world. So he's a sort of a commie dictator. Uh, this guy has the illusion that he is the um, elected president of Syria. And of course 90% of Syria wants to see him hang on on a pole somewhere in the, in the square in Damascus. Because most of the people are in Syria are Sunnis. There are Christians, there are Kurds, uh, there are the Dru Druze, and he and his faction um, are only about 10% of, uh, of, the, of the people in, in, in Syria. And um, he has given naval bases in Tartus to the, the Russian commies, the guys who envy the white Americans. You know, the Russians envy the white Americans, and they hate them and they envy them. And that's why they are trying to be. Uh, that's why they are acting like gays. You know, when someone envies someone, he acts like a gay person. So that's what the Russian commies are. Do, neo commies. The Russian neo commies envy the white Americans, and they're trying to kill people here and there. And um, now, on the other hand, America, with this, with this, uh, with this uh, liberal commie. Uh, Guy Obama, who can barely speak English, knew so these this 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 liberal, comic guy Obama, has practically uh, permitted the Russian commies who envy the white Americans, the proper Americans, to kill people in the Ukraine with impunity. So the Russian commies who envy the white Americans are killing people in the Ukraine with impunity. What has America done to save? the Ukraine nil. So uh, because they envy the white Americans, the Russians have killed people in uh, Georgia in the, uh, in, in the Caucasus. What has America done for Georgians nil? The Russian commies who envy the white Americans have uh, violated the airspace of Britain, Sweden and Canada. Because the envy the white Americans. What has America done for Great Britain, Sweden, and Canada? Nothing. Uh, in fact, I saw the video that Paul Begley did about the about the Russians evading the, the airspace of Canada, and one of the videos by the pastor Paul Begley from Indiana, which uh, is not very well known. It's the fact that the Russians envy the white Americans evaded the airspace of Canada. So uh, anyway, Assad A, the first one, he entered Lebanon and he killed Christians. So this is the guy that the Russian commies are defending, a guy who killed Christians in Lebanon. Uh, Assad A and Assad B are claiming the Golan Heights from Israel. So what on earth are the Syrians doing in, in the Golan Heights anyway? So, uh, the Golden Heights have about 20,000 native Jews in it and, and 20,000 Druze, not Syrians, Druze, Arabs. And of course, all the, the army units right, from the rest of Israel. So, what are, what are Syrians doing in uh, the Golden Heights? The ancient Gablonides, nothing. What are, uh, uh, and, anyway, and, and the Arabs uh, have nothing to do with Syria, anyway. Ancient Syria has nothing to do with, with Arabia. I mean, the Arabians came from um, Saudi Arabia, the Arabian Peninsula, and uh, Yemen. Not Syria, Lebanon, Israel. Anyway. So Obama, this, 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 this liberal comic guy, along with his good friends um, Kerry and uh, Mrs. Clinton and the Clintons, are trying to divide, to give parts of Israel to Arab squatters. And he's trying to do that again and again and again. And he's trying to create an Arab state within Israel. Why? He did the stupid nuke deal about in 
what well, last year he did a stupid new deal, Obama, and he forced uh, Britain, France, and Germany to sign along with the six superpowers, along with his good friend Putin. So why? Why would he do a stupid thing like that? And President elect Donald Trump, we are in the winter of, of December. We are in the December of 2016. Well, in about a month's time, Donald Trump will be in power, probably. And he stated that he was trying to do something about the stupid nuke deal that Obama signed. Why would Obama sign a stupid nuke deal with Iran for absolutely no reason? Why would he insist again and again and again trying to, to create an Arab state within Israel? What are Arabs doing in Israel? What are Arabs doing in Syria, Iraq, in Lebanon, and North Africa in the first place? I mean, it's stupid. The Arab squatters, these Arab terrorists, have nothing to do with Israel. Uh, right now, we are seeing that Arab terrorists, uh, Hamas, Fatah, who differ, who differ not from, from ISIS, have burnt the ancient tomb of Yehoshaphat, and they have burnt several houses in Haifa and the surrounding areas. Why? Because they believe in ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Assad B came in power. He went to, went into into Lebanon and he killed Rafiq Hariri and he killed several Christians along and a couple of and um, a few Sunnis along. And um, so that's Assad B. Assad B killed the Palestinians. Now the Colony Liberals love the Palestinians, don't they? Well, Assad B killed several Palestinians. In, in, in the refugee camp called uh, Yarmouk, not the river Yarmouk, the refugee camp called Yarmouk. But of course, no one talked about that. I mean, no one, no one's ever heard about that, right? Right. So, um, Assad A, twice or thrice, I think, trying to kill the gay comedic comedy dictator Yasser Arafat. Tommy Liberals love Yasser Arafat, but Assad A trying to kill him. No one has ever heard about that. Um, what about uh, the guy who rules Lebanon, Lebanon right now? What about Michael Aoun? Wasn't it the Syrians who tried to kill him in 1990, 25 years ago, 26 years ago? Who's ever heard about that? Nobody. The Russians are killing people in Syria because they envy the white Americans. They are killing people with impunity in either Ukraine, they're killing people in Georgia, they are killing Muslims in Chechnya, they are killing people in, um, they are throwing uh, Polish planes with Polish politicians in it because they envy the white Americans. They are threatening Poland. For, absolute, for the only reason that they envy the white Americans. They are, um, with impunity of course, will America defend Poland? And it, go, it all goes back to the days of Josef Bisulski, when the Russian commies tried to overtake Germany and Poland. And uh, whatever piece of Europe they could at the time. And this great guy, this, this, this brave guy, this, this guy called Josef Bisulski stopped them. Not far from, uh, from Krakow or Warsaw. In 1920, the Polish patriots saved Europe from the Russian Red Commies. Josef Bisulski. And they're trying to do that again, because they envy the white Americans. And it was American volunteer planes that stopped the Russians, actually. American, U.S., uh, the first airplanes bought by, by, by America, by volunteers, helped the Poles defeat the Russian commies. They helped Josef Bisulski defeat the Russian commies. Now, what, are, what is Obama doing when the Russians are evading Polish, Swedish, Canadian, British airspace and killing people in the Ukraine, Syria, Georgia, Tsenia? Nil. Why?
no one knows. Because they're commies, because they're liberals. Why? Will President elect Donald Trump? What will when Donald Trump, the Republican um, President elect, when he comes to power in about a month's time from now, you are in the, we are in the winter of 2016, December 16, will he do something about the gay commie dictator, Putin? Will he stop them killing people in Syria, Ukraine, Georgia, Chechnya, and invading the airspace of Poland, Sweden, Canada, and Britain? Will he stop Assad B from killing people? Will he protect Israel from Arab squatters, Arab Nazis, who have absolutely nothing to do with Israel? The pseudo-Palestinians, Hamas, Fatah, who differ not from ISIS. Will Donald Trump reverse the situation? Will he stop the stupid things, the stupid anti-American things that the Obamas, the Clintons and the Kerrys did in America? That's the question. And of course we have stupid people like, um, like Jimmy Carter who are alive because of uh, Israeli medicine and they hate Israel and they are backing um, Muslim fanatics like the pseudo-Palestinians who don't even exist according to their own words. We have stupid people like Carter around, we have the, the stupid Clintons, we have the stupid Kerry and we have the stupid Obamas running around saying stupid things about Israel and uh, letting the Russian commies kill people with impunity. And let us hope that uh, Donald Trump, when he takes power in about a month's time, he will try to reverse the situation. First of all, tackling the nuclear deal, stopping Iran from acquiring nuclear weapons, enriching uranium and all that, and stopping the, um, driving up the Arab Nazi squatters from the West Bank and the Gaza Strip and Israel proper. And let us hope that um, Hezbollah will be weakened in Lebanon. Let's hope that Assad gets the hell out of Syria. Let's hope about the situation. What about, what about Yemen? Half of the country is ruled by Sunni, Sunnis and the other one by the Russian backed uh, Shia militants. What about Yemen? What will Donald Trump do about these stupid people? these fanatics? Will he stop the Russian commies who envy the white Americans? Will he stop the Muslim fanatics? Will he? 2017 might be a golden year. Anyway, let's hope the best for America, Israel and Western Europe and for all it stands for. Let's have a new Yosef Bisulski. Let's have no more of these stupid common rebels like Obama, Clinton, Carter and Kerry.